Making money does not mean people. We have a lot of people who make a lot of money out here and they are not stable mentally. And it's not something that we should laugh at. It's something that we should help. And like I said, I don't want to engage boy. I don't want to talk about him ever again. The same way, I don't want to talk to Silver Kido. I don't want to talk to Ali. Yeah, because there are people who provoke your bad side. And if you provoke my bad side, I walk away. Yes, now Eric has provoked my good side. Because I want Eric to start being a mentor and someone who people can look up to and go like, I want to be like Eric Omondi. When I was young, I wanted to be like Eric Omondi. When he used to go to church in John, and he like, ah, ah, you ha, ha. He lost it. Right now, the things Eric I Sometimes I look at Eric, I'm like, right now, my mom cannot watch Eric. Back in the day, the whole family would watch Chachin Show to wait for Eric Komondi. You see, how are you? What 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 are you? And we are laughing. We're like, oh my God, this guy is brilliant. Hi. Three, zero, two, Action! All right, Mambo, you're okay. I'm successful. Uh -huh. Yeah. First of all, to Nazia to her part, direct to the point. I recommend a Mekuja interview, Kukis, now. I'm as well as Kuingia Kulendan. Let me do it because you're the host. Na utueleze u. Nini nini nendelea kati yako na Eric? Hajazui wa kuingia, hamekuja haka ingia. Mm -hmm. So the idea is, Eric thought he would just come with his dogs mm -hmm. and enter anywhere. Napatia watu rabies. Uh, left, right and center with the dogs that are not even been nini, vaccinated. So I came with my security mm -hmm. and I told them, if Eric comes, the only way he'll be allowed to come in if you leave those dirty dogs outside. Hizo ma bosko zake huko mbwa koko. So when he left them, he was allowed in the studio. So the problem is when he got in the studio, he didn't want me to talk to him. You've already come to the studio. The show is Kwambox and Obina. So I have to ask you questions. So anytime I ask him a question, I'll ignore. He goes around, he starts pointing me. First, Alianza na kunirushia gazeti. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, me, I thought he's 55. You know, if you're 55, you're supposed to be respectful. You're supposed to respect the younger generation. But now if you're 55 and you're picking fights with the younger guys, he's picking fights with everybody. So the conversion got out of hand at some point. Then I can rush a remote. Then he jumped on me. Ni mm memfinya. -hmm. Kama si security yake. Mwanzo wali sema ataki yafanyiwe any interview na wewe kulenda. Nili sema if Obina is going to ask any question, hapo itakuwa vita. So already alikuwa sharp ya na disclaimer. No, what, what he got offended is I asked him about his dress code. So he says me and him are doing the same thing. No, we are not. I've never worn tongs. Mimi niliva jumper. Nikai kanguo hapa, nikajita anti wahari ya nikava with the wig. As a bina, I was dressed the way I'm dressed. I did a wig and I did the makeup. As a bina, akuna siku ni mei kam, nikava, nikeka makadusko, nikafanyizo wititake, akava matongre, nini nini. That's for him. So when I asked him and I told him, listen, you dress like this. First of all, you don't feel like you're derailing the younger generation with the way you're dressing. You're always naked. Do you have a point to prove? Bwana samanga kizuri chaji uza. He's always in a box somewhere. I'm a pose. Which point are you trying to prove? Aya, nikamwambia, it is a safe space. Just come out. We are seeing the signs. Just come out and just tell guys, listen, I'm fluid. This is the way I'm rolling. Nobody's going to judge you. Right now, the generation is different. Guys are a little bit woke and open minded. And it's a free world. And every human being has their own right. So feel free, do whatever you want to do. That's when he got pissed and then threw the remote at me. Because I asked him, feel free. Come out! It's a safe space. So that is where things got out of hand. Yeah. So do you manage to do an interview with him? Mama kumekuwa tu even Yes. They were talking with Kwambox about a lot of things that did not make sense. Of course, Eric saying, you know, stroking his own balls, telling himself the way he's the president of comedy. He's towards G50 countries. Of course, you can tour those countries because you started in 2006. Even you've been starting in 2006 and now it's 2023 and you've not traveled two, three countries. What did you do? And I eat a mousha goza Uganda, Sji Gulu, Sji Wapi, Jinja. And I say some places that I'm like, brother, when I to small events, I'm at a wedding, I'm in Kenya, I'm in Gulu, and end up in Kenya, ah, I recommend the world tour. It's not a world tour. It's not done a world tour. We've not seen it. It doesn't have a Netflix special. Not even a KBC special. Leave alone Netflix special. And I end up in Kenya, uh, KICC, we go, you repeat the same, same jokes you'll be repeating 50 times. Oh, you know what? 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 You know
come up with something fresh, something new. You're a, you're a gatekeeper. You're a trailblazer. You've been there for a while. Show the younger generation something positive, not always bashing. You know, even if you have a child, and any time you're always bashing them, they start putting their defenses up. So even if you want them to change something, they don't change. And if they change, they're changing out of fear, not because they want to. So he comes, bashes people, tukanas people. Maybe his intentions are clear. We don't know. Because as it is right now, all he does is just kutukana watu, kusema, get another laptop, sujui watu wana kulana umoja, kwa betsita, sujui whatever, whatever, whatever. And all these are unverified stories. But what do they do? They are shaping a mentality. Say what one angalia say gospel like hey hey. Nyinyi mnakulana tu moja. They don't have proof, but it's because Eric said it. And it's one of the people that people look up to. That's the only problem I had with him. So they spoke with uh Kwambox and in time I was asking him the issues that we really need to talk about, the issues that matter. He got offended about it. It's like so in a way way. Yeah. I've done an interview with him na amesema he's anakuja kukufuta kazi kiss. Na before kufute atakutandika vibaya sana because okay. wewe ni mtoto mdogo. Even we amesema I'm just putting the way he has said okay. on my interview. So are you ready kutolewa kazi na Eric Komoni? So Eric cannot vote on me job kiss. He's not HR. He's not my boss. One, number two, Eric was fired in one week. Eric got the kiss job. Alikuwa na lala sana. He, he sat on that seat before me but for one week. He could not keep up. I've already done it for 11 months. So that means I've done it more than he could have. About Kuntandika, I'm ready. Eric Sassum is a menyana nae. I'm ready. Akuja ni mnyoroshe visuri. Yes. Ako very lucky alikuja na mabansa wa mekonda hapo. Amekuja na mabansa wake wa msaidia. You know, he threw the remote, he jumped. Then when I went to hold him, nikuwa taka ni mshike hivi. Mabansa wake wakakam katikati. So my guys pull me on the side. Oh, you know, stop the, uh, the issue, whatever. I just wanted to have a conversation with him. Kidogo tu. Yo mdomo yake yo. Nike mwekelea moja, hange kwa nasema W. Nkwa nasema W. So, uh, Obina, I know you and Eric, you have your own issues, but then this was a show. Mbona mge hacha hizo issues, mkuje kwanza tufanya a show as mature people, then if issues then you mtazu ifanya badai, but this is a show. Mbona mge hacha kwanza hizo issues, you do the show, then after the show, mwendele na stories then you wena Eric. No, no, no. Now that is the show. Mm -hmm. Yes, the whole show is the whole situation. Obina is the show. Mm -hmm. By the way, what you normally see in Obina is what you get. I am the show, so I cannot say that I'll stop this, then I do this. Me, if I have beef with you, I have beef with you. You not come to my space, then I pretend like, oh my God, you know Eric, oh so, hey, huh, huh. Then also, what I was asking him is real. I didn't, there's nothing that I asked him or I, I tried to say that is not happening. I just asked him, why do you keep bashing the guys in the industry? That is not the way to go. You know, a lot of people are struggling with a lot of things. Why don't you find a common ground where now people can talk about issues? But Eric does not want to do that. Eric has withdrawal symptoms of shutting up. If he's quiet, another kujikuna. Hey, Leo, 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 Everybody, to come in a kinanani, who kwa rubi, who kwa frutana wa tuengine. So we cannot put it aside because that is the Eric that we are dealing with. Akina kwa box and whoever will come and say, oh, you know, Eric, oh, we love, I don't love what he's doing. Eric could have done better. Right now in the industry, Eric could have been way better. See, mates, look at, the, I don't want to mention names, but look at where the others are. Others are holding political seats and big offices and running shows that are supporting young talent. Who is Eric supporting if not him? Or mm Nawaki? -hmm. So another thing which we go at the forefront to go against Eric is Villanova. Uh, but then Eric, from his argument on Asema, is doing so just to sell his brand. And then Pia, uh, I'm going to examples. Kuna wase Pia in different countries when you one of a, like him, no, just to sell their brand, maybe Pia too. I'm going Pia, one of the things I'm going to receive is trying to reach uh, both genders, females and male. But then I'm going to feel like, it's no right. So Eric was already reaching both genders, male and female, over the years. He was the most admired comedian at some point because there was no one else in that space. There were younger guys. So for you to reach the other guys is about what you're saying. It's not about how you dress. Sometimes as a comedian, you have to dress a certain way to pass a certain joke. But if you get too comfortable with it now and in Africa, they, we know the African setup, there are a couple of things you still cringe on. Or like uh the cross-dressing thing is a little bit if you really want to cross-dress then come out and tell us listen guys this is me and this is the way i'm rolling and we're gonna know and identify you like that but now eric attitude to make you happy that is a problem i don't really have a problem whatever he chooses to dress is his life forever i'm just telling him just come out and be confident on it embrace it embody it leave it 
Stop living in denial. That's the only problem that I have with Eric. So yes. according to you, what's the farthest a person can go as per addressing God to maybe the the overcome a man? What's the farthest a person can go? No, it's what you believe in. Yeah, yeah, that's the farthest you can go. If you believe in da 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 da, you identify as such. Rock it. So the jealous situation has really stressed me. Jana si kukula bana. Eh. Yeah. Because now, uh, when he got there, we know the type of person he is. He's been all DM Damu, like, before he was even born. Yeah, then whatever happened, the state house situation, then he went, then things were flipped, told to walk out, the drama that ensued after. And I was just like, so I, I looked for him yesterday and I was like, man, bro, I'll be right here. But now there's nothing much I can really do because now that's an Azimio situation, you know. So that story has really stressed and everything that he's planning to do for the young guys, even for, uh, he's my MP. So in Langata and everything he's planning to do might be stopped in the drama or might be watered down because of the drama instead of us focusing on what is happening so let's hope they sort it soon and uh let's hope that the loyalists for the party get rewarded and get identified as such because i don't want to talk much about the party i don't know much about what happens in the party but what i know is i know him so when i saw the situation i'm just like yo it's the same way you will do the right things 99 times then do one wrong thing. That one wrong thing is now what everybody does. Now everybody forgets every good thing that you've done. Now that's the situation that's happening here. All the fights, all Jeshia Baba, Jeshia Baba, Jeshia Baba, all those going whatever, doing everything. I went to his campaigns as well for Jalas, I was doing ODM and everything. Now all that is being watered down with one trip to State House. And you're like, if he really wanted to go to State House, you do know that he could have still gone at night or he could not have posted. But he posted and he said, yeah, this is, I'm um, coming through. I'm going to do A, B, C, D. And he was very open about it. And now the thing has been flipped. Now it's, oh, Judas is karaoke. Oh, da, 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 da. So the bashing is really unnecessary. And especially from the fans who don't have the real information of what was happening. I've seen online. We always have people with opinions left, right, and center. So they're the ones who are even pushing the narrative. Why are you a traitor? You did it. Like, you don't know what is happening up there. Sometimes just let people sort out the issues or sometimes try and focus more on the positive sides and the winning sides of a person. Mm -hmm. But do you think, so, was it sight of him who went about it without him you know, consulting the party leader? I, I can't say that. That's not my place to say because I don't know how they roll. I don't know the rules in their organization and everything. It's like now I'm saying myself going to another radio station. For me, I know I have to talk to my boss and tell him, listen, I'm going to this radio station to push, uh, to push my music or something like that. If I just go, there's going to be repercussions. So because that's my competitor station. But for the party, political parties, I don't know the rules that they have. Because you know, politics is also just politics. You never know what people are doing. Because today, this person will say Trudy is the most evil person. Tomorrow they are together, they're forming a coalition. The following day, da 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 da. So, so what we've seen about in politics, sometimes you wake a qualang. Breathe it out, breathe it in. Just to add on what you mentioned earlier, is the land of life in danger? And then the second question is that uh, we've seen your baby mama was granted uh, access. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So about Jalango's life being in danger, I don't know about that. Uh, all, I, all, all I say is we have fanatics and we have goons who sometimes react without thinking of the repercussions. So we never know. But Jalas has always been careful. Yeah. About my baby mama custody, I don't want to talk about it. Yes, for obvious reasons. But the minute I'll talk about it, I'll be misquoted, I'll be told this. But what I keep insisting is this. Boy, child, you are on your own. That is what I will say. It doesn't matter which kind of evidence you have, forget about it. So we move. Yes, let's make peace. When the kids grow, they'll figure out what to do. I'm still going to provide for my kids like I've always done. I'm still going to be, be there for my kids. And uh, I even told my baby mama a while ago, when you're having those issues for Nikuje Kuiba Watoto, Nikuje Kuiba Kwangu, I got to a point where I was like, you know where I live? You know the school they go to? So you feel like they want to see me and you feel like you want to bring them? The door is open. Whenever you feel like you want to pick them, the door is open. I'm not going to ask for them because the minute I ask for them, we start the altercation. 2023, I'm not engaging with no baby mama in no drama and everything. I've learned the hard way. And... Uh, I'll just keep quiet and watch. Smile and wave. 
whenever they'll feel like they'll come whenever they don't feel like we move and now is i see them friday until sunday she has them sun monday sunday night until friday when they go to school and i'm paying the school fees uh, i'm providing the uniform medical uh, clothing and the likes when she's at when they're at her place she provides the meals for them it's the same thing that has been happening and you see me all the time i'm the one who takes them to the salon and do everything da 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 da, da. i'll still play with my kids still spend time with them when they are brought if they are not brought i don't want no issue with nobody you know kids see that's what most people always forget kids see kids sweetness and they grow and this is just to every other parent out there who is co-parenting with anybody just make sure that when your kids grow up they don't grow up to hate you because they see everything that between the baby mama and the baby daddy that happens the kids see just make sure that later in life they don't sit down when they are capable they go like i don't want to stay with you or i don't want to see you or i don't want to talk to you just be a good parent that's what i'll say and for all the men out there you have kids provide it's your it's the bare minimum that you're supposed to do and if you're not sure if they're your kids just do a dna and for the women out there this story for hey where's your teacher dna i'm total can you trust yes i don't trust you because of sometimes the behaviors and the bitterness and the fights that people have so if you really want that man to step up allow them to have a dna having a baby dna does not have anything to do with you it just has something to do with the man wanting to be in the life of the child and allow them to, to do that then stop blocking the kids from seeing their parents either men and women if you're a man stop blocking the kids from seeing their mothers if you're a woman stop blocking the kids from seeing their fathers because you you are you're nurturing a generation that's going to be bitter and they're in pain and they're hurting my other two kids with their mothers were easy but you want to come see your child you know where they live you have their phone number you know the school they go to you can pick them anytime you feel like provided just don't interfere with the schooling because where they are they're going to school and life is continuing so that's the arrangement that we have currently with the others so that's a call to action to every other baby mama baby daddy out there just provide a safe space for the kids that's all but if you go to court most of the time if the boy children want to go to court <laughs> let me not talk but just know that you are in for run uh, uh, now i want you to give ed komonda a message purposely by the near me to fanya to ko hapa yeah so to kimalizia hi video just give eric a message message is respect yourself act your age just those two things and then be empathetic and be sympathetic with the other guys bashing and insulting young guys every day people are in dark spaces because of that and you are a public figure you know what it does to creatives when you go and put so much hard work in uh, in whatever you're creating then kuna msana kwambia tu hii ni jinga gani who say ana talent who say let this one be fired or idiot nini people just have this then you're like this person has no idea the blood the sweat the the love the emotions you put into the project so that's the same thing eric that happens to the musicians and other comedians and other people you come and say i'm the president of comedy you guys are useless you're not doing anything then other comedians are like i've been doing some club shows because i was looking up to you i'm trying to build myself up so i can get to that level and other musicians are like i'm struggling to find money to pay rent i'm struggling to find money to pay studio time i'm struggling to shoot a music video then i'm struggling to look for money to promote the song and then you come and tell me i'm useless i'm doing nothing like the effort you see so respect yourself you know respect other people and then just be kind be kind i'm just telling eric just be kind man to other people not to me sisi tumenyane mimi niko samia have a thick skin you can bring it